Samuel wins on asks, do a froggy onesie intro to your Q&A. You got it, bro. curious to know if I can do a split. Let's see if I can do a split for the intro. Ooh, 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 the Duprees, the Duprees, the Duprees, fuck. What's up, Ningroys, and welcome to, and I can't believe that I'm saying this, 200,000 subscriber Q&A. What the actual shit horse? But really the point I want to drive home is thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Wouldn't be able to do any of this stuff. Wouldn't be able to be sitting in front of this camera, making this video, editing this video, if it wasn't for your guys' support. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for 200,000 subscribers. It means the absolute world to me. It's hot. This shit is... I gotta take the onesie off, dude. It's hot as hell, bro. It's fucking 80 degrees outside right now, man. Whew. Wow, dude. Whew. All right, that is like 10 times better. So there were almost over a thousand questions. I'm not gonna be able to answer every one of them, but I tried to pick questions that like, for example, I would pick one question that, you know, maybe 20 or, you know, 20 people asked. So I tried to pick some popular questions, about 50% uh, popular questions, and then 50% some very, very unique questions that no one else asked. So that's how we're gonna do it. If you guys enjoy the video, hit that like button. If you wanna interact with me on Twitter, it is at SidbuckHD. Without any further ado, let's get in the first question. Ben Spooner asks, best moment of your life so far love your videos way now this is going to sound incredibly cliche and sort of cheesy but honestly i would have to say best moment of my life is right now sitting in front of this camera making this 200,000 subscriber q a for you guys because it is a moment in which i'm able to say um i do what i love for a living and that is very very rare this day and age um you know beyond youtube and beyond fifa both things that i love extremely uh, can't even talk right now both things that i absolutely love uh beyond that at its core they allow me to make people laugh and i get to entertain people dude and that is that is the greatest gift of all i think comedy is the medicine that cures all and uh just being able to do something where i entertain people and make people's lives maybe just just one person's life maybe a little bit better a little bit happier that on honestly is the best moment uh for me and that is dude what an emotional way to start the freaking video let's get into like a comedy question jesus christ on a scale of 13.237 to 13.238 what's your favorite type of cereal i'm just gonna ignore the number part of this question and i'm gonna focus on my favorite type of cereal because this is a question that i get quite often and it's a serious question this is like a very very serious a very serious issue uh love frosted mini wheats although they're prone as are fruit loops to scratching the top of your uh the top of your mouth and i hate that i hate when i'm done having a bowl of fruit loops and let me know in the comment section if you can relate you have a bowl of fruit loops you don't wait for the milk to marinate inside of the actual you know to soften the soften the blow of the sharpness of the fruit loops the fucking like dinosaur fruit loops um and you're just so hungry that you go right into it and by the end of it you're like fucking the top of your mouth is like bleeding out like you need to get band-aids in your mouth so that you don't bleed out from the cereal what but yeah frosted mini wheats uh, uh cocoa puffs and frosted flakes those are probably my top three and then you could honestly replace them with another top three and it would be just as good love honey nut cheerios uh love fruity pebbles really 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 good and uh yeah i guess just my one advice even though you didn't ask for it is like let the milk sog the cereal a little bit so you don't have to go to the hospital for cereal what <laughs> VRDCT asks, do you ever look up into the stars and think, what the fuck? What the fuck? XL Gabos asks, were you born in Germany or were you born in America and just know how to speak it? So I was born in Zurich, Switzerland. Um, my dad and my mom were working there at the time. And my dad's actually from Germany. My mom's from California. So uh, they were both working in Europe at the time. That's actually how they met. And... Um, uh yeah that's how i know how to speak german because my dad is german and i grew up in germany for uh lived there till i was seven years old so was born in switzerland lived there for about half a year and then we moved to uh we moved to munich and lived there for about six seven years and then moved to uh moved to the states when i was seven wafi wafino asks what's the craziest thing you've ever done craziest things i've ever done wow dude okay all right this is easily the craziest thing uh woke up one morning poured a bowl of cereal Saw that we didn't have any milk, but we had plenty of orange juice. Use the orange juice in the cereal instead of milk. Woo! That shit was nuts, dude. Nah, craziest thing I ever did. 
So uh, went to Lebanon a few years back. Uh, one of my best friends is Lebanese. We went to Beirut, and uh, the, his parents have a house in the mountains. We went to the mountains, and um, there were actually guards on the property. And essentially, at night, we thought it would be a cool idea to go exploring in the fucking mountains of Lebanon. So we did that. We were making so much noise as we were going through like the olive perches that uh, the armed guards actually came out and started screaming shit at us. And my Lebanese friend actually doesn't even know how to speak that good of Arabic. So basically, we were basically three or f we were four American kids screaming up at like armed guards, telling them basically we're, you know, we're like, we know the people that own the property. So that was, I mean, I guess that was the craziest thing. Also getting swatted. That was also probably the craziest swatting i didn't actually go out of my way to do the swatting but getting swatted was probably one of the craziest things ever as well jai zikron asked do you swim in your creek nearby um there's not a creek near me there's no there's no creek here finn waldron states he doesn't have a question he says do a dramatic intro discarding a really good player okay Omido, TBG asks you, how do you, <laughs> how do you edit your videos so fast? It takes several days for me to make anything even almost as good, maybe because I'm new. And yeah, dude, that's exactly what it is. If you're new to it, if you're new to editing and specifically, that's what I want to focus on. The art of editing is something that is more important than the software that you're actually using. It doesn't matter if you're using Pro, uh, Final Cut Pro, uh, uh, Apple Movie or whatever the hell the fucking thing is for Apple, Sony Vegas, whatever it is you're using, um, it comes down to more the art, having having an eye for the frame, all that sort of stuff. So the more you do it, the better you'll get and the faster you'll be able to, uh, the more proficient you'll be able to be at making your videos. Thanks for the compliment, by the way. It takes about three hours in total. Capture, edit, upload live, probably three or four hours per video for me. Luis Sanchez asks what's your favorite team setup bbva german or barclays um i would probably have to say it, it could go either way you can build good teams all around but i love company and koscielny i love loris he's my favorite keeper in the game and then also i would have to say because i can insert yaya in there that's why i, I like to hybridize but i also like to use full uh, full league squads as well bpl obviously has some of the best players in the world aguero is probably my favorite striker in the game tori is probably my favorite midfielder um, so yeah, I would probably say a BPL side. Tashi Briar asks, who is your favorite YouTuber apart from yourself? Uh, love Ed Bassmaster. I love all the prank channels. I love, uh, uh, Roman Atwood makes some good stuff. Love Ed Bassmaster. I think he's one of the funniest guys on YouTube. Uh, for vloggers, I don't watch a whole lot, but fun for Louie. Just, just really, really cool videos. And I just really... The whole adventure aspect of his channel where he goes to like different parts his india series in particular was really really enjoyable to watch absolutely beautifully shot and then uh let's see i miss linus tech tips for like technology stuff loved linus tech tips and i actually watch a lot of uh, boogie 2998 as well very well spoken articulate guy and he's always almost on point with all of his issues and he focuses on gaming which i have a huge passion for so uh those are definitely my favorite youtuber channels red nace asks can you speak some german sentences for your german fans uh yeah na natürlich ich, ich will nur sagen vielen dank zu alle meine deutschen abonnieren und ich hoffe dass du bleibst mit mir für noch eine 100k und ich hoffe dass du ein fantastischer fantastischer tag hast vielen dank hazard gamer 17 asks do you have a girlfriend if yes please show the picture Okay, so this is my girlfriend. If she looks familiar, it's because she sings some songs, like sometimes, and she used to date a guy named Pique, but I, I beat the shit out of him. We had a we had a shootout versus Iker Casillas, and I scored 100 goals, and he only scored five, so she said she wanted to be with me. Also, she said that she loved my YouTube channel, and she wanted to be with me. Great Banter asks, what was your goal when starting YouTube? My goal when starting YouTube was, and I think I, I've... I've answered this in every Q&A, but I answered a little differently each time. My goal when I started YouTube was, I don't know, if, did I, I don't think I really had a goal. My objective, I suppose, um, my objective was to share my gaming experience with other people. Like, that's what I wanted to, that's essentially what I wanted to convey through my channel. I played a bunch of Planetside, I played Age of Empires, I was basically just playing games that I enjoyed, um, enjoyed playing at the time. So, sharing my gaming experience and, like, showing other people how I was playing was basically my objective at the time. That's changed, but at its core, it's pretty much still stayed that. I just 
love entertaining people, sharing my gaming experiences with people. And that's why I actually have a second channel as well, where I play GTA and a bunch of other games. And then I have my FIFA channel, which is the one you're watching right now, where it's just FIFA. So, um... My goal was not 100,000 subscribers. It was not 200,000 subscribers when I started out. It was actually a very, very modest goal of uh, just entertaining whoever wanted to watch. A high hamster asks, Wait, why do you always put gullible at the bottom of the description? Wait, why? Gullible at the bottom of the fucking description? What is he talking about? Oh. Ryan Carey asks, When did you start growing out your hair, buddy? Um... Well, I guess it goes back to childhood. My dad has always had long hair, so I guess in some way I was always trying to emulate my dad. He still has long hair. Um, but yeah, I pretty much have had long hair all my life. Had short hair for a couple months, in, uh, about a year in high school, and then I got a haircut. Or I had short hair for a couple years after graduating college. But uh, yeah, I've pretty much had long hair ever since. Last time I got a haircut, I guess probably four or five months ago probably need to go in for a trim because every you know every couple months if you have long hair you would just at least want to cut the edges i don't even know what the reason is for that just that's what they tell me so um yeah that ho hopefully that answers your question aaron mayman asks when did you start your channel and how many average views did you get your first week i think i know exactly I, if i go on social blade it's april 13th 2013 is when i started my channel i had another channel which was my personal channel since like 07 but uh, since uh, this, this channel you're watching right now has been around since 2013, how many average views did you get your first week? Dude, I got like one view. Like that, <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. Like getting 50 views in a couple days was like a big deal. Now I'm getting like, it's unreal, but I'm close to 3 million channel views for the first time ever on the channel this month. If, if I hit that, that would be a huge milestone. And um, those are almost as big as uh, subscriber milestones. Like the first time you ever hit a million uh, channel views in a month, first time you hit 2 million, every 500,000 is huge, even though, like, dude, I mean, I'm talking about, like, millions of views, that's crazy to me to even think that, but, yeah, first week, bro, I was getting, like, 5 views, it was crazy. Jensen Lebo asks, do as many impressions as you can in 30 seconds. Look, let me be clear, he's wearing the mama jeans, and he's got on the Mr. Fantastic face. All right, okay, okay, all right, if it's the last thing I do, so help me God, I will get my son a new liver. Ha, 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 ha. I'm so sorry, Kaido. Do you prefer the cuttlefish with asparagus or the chicken with pesto? Come, come, Mr. Bond. You derive just as much pleasure from killing as I do. You were only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. And you don't do the broken down voice from all the Batman movies. Where the years of cigar and whiskey have caught up with him. And he speaks very, very slowly. You stupid herbertsis. Rashid Heiko says, would you rather kill yourself or commit suicide? Ryan Salgado asks, serious question though, outside of changes everyone wants, better packs, more reliable servers, what's one big idea or several small changes you'd want to see FIFA add for 16 and beyond? Honestly, I would love it if there was an online career mode. That would be, oh my god, dude, I would fucking love career mode if they did that. So for me, that, and then maybe some sort of collection book type series in FIFA 16, um, where you get rewards or un essentially you can unlock cards or perks by filling out like collection book pages that would be sick jetstorm14 asks will you go to anything like gamescom or eurogamer uh it, interesting you should ask that i'm going to pax east which is in about two weeks in boston so going to be spending three days there uh linking up with some other youtubers is going to be a whole lot of fun and then uh maybe going to the uk in three or four months unrelated to like an event or anything just hanging out with friends and then hopefully gamescom in germany would be a sick thing to go to later this year so yeah definitely hoping to go to more uh definitely hoping to go to more events i said it last year that i'd love to start doing events this year and it looks like that's going to be able to happen so really really looking forward to this year joe chalk asks where did you get the marco royce picture from and which artist is it by um it's actually by a an artist named daniel nyari he's a german artist and he's actually brilliant i'm staring at it is a mesut ozil uh picture it's actually not royce so uh i'll actually put the picture of that up on the uh, on the screen and also i'll put a link to his uh his store down below in the description chase larson asks what kind of computer do you use also you're the best youtuber out there don't ever stop making vids because you asked that question it's time for a freaking impromptu gaming setup video so here we go boys this is my gaming setup video it's not going to be incredibly in depth i'm just going to show you guys basically most of the stuff that i'm working with and sorry that it's so messy dude look at that look at the wires bro i really just have no explanation as to why it's messy it just just happened that way but anyway 
Uh, starting off, I guess we'll start off with the monitor because that's usually how these things kick off. Got my monitor here. It's an ASUS monitor, one of my favorite brands for electronics, anything. Got an ASUS monitor there, which I use for editing and then just like main stuff. And then I've got my Samsung TV right there, which I use for FIFA. That's what I play on. And then I've got my, uh, this is pretty much a monitor that I just bought a maybe a month and a half ago. I just basically use it for Skype and if I have anything else, like maybe Photoshop on this screen and then uh, and then Sony Vegas on that or whatever, just sometimes I'll browse on this one as well and have TweetDeck up. I've got uh, my MacBook Pro, which I actually just got here. Um, actually in love with this freaking thing, dude. It's absolutely freaking amazing. Have uh, a bunch of the questions from the Q&A here. And um, yeah, just pretty much chilling with that. That's my uh, MacBook Pro. I've got a, uh, a Call of Duty Midnight. Uh, Xbox One controller. I'm sorry it's dusty all over the place. I gotta clean up like I said before. Have some of these McDonald's toys that I got. Have some beef yerky. You guys know I love beef jerky. I've got my Battlefield uh, Black Widow keyboard. I have the Death Adder mouse, which I will never get a new keyboard or mouse. These are absolutely freaking amazing. Got the Kinect here that I never use. I've got my custom gaming rig right here, which is really actually pretty sweet. It has uh, a 780 Ti. I believe it has an i7 processor. I've got 16 gigs of memory. I've got two uh, solid state drives that combine 500 gigs of storage. And then I've got, uh, I think I have two regular hard drives in there, hard disk drives that combine for about two or three terabytes of storage, which is pretty sick. I've got a, um, I've got a mini fridge right there that has nothing in it. I've got a bunch of stuff here. I've got controllers and all that stuff. All the, all the, uh, you know, I've got my router right there got some controllers some are broken got my xbox one hanging off the side of the table because there's not enough space have my wii right there have my xbox 360 right there and uh got some speakers and whatnot but uh yeah that is pretty much it we got a printer there got a printer there my gym bag there and then uh, a charge kit for my xbox 360 right there and that my friends is pretty much it Jared Gabriel asks fuck Susan Boyle for a million or give a guy a head for a million dude this is not even a close question not even close. Dude, not only would I bang Susan Boyle, I would take her to McDonald's, I'd let her get McFlurries and whatever she wanted, dude. We would watch DVDs that night, dude. Susan Boyle. For a million dollars? Hell yeah. All right, boys, so there you have it. The 200,000 subscriber q and I'm looking at the runtime, 37 minutes. Holy shit, this is going to be a long video. But hopefully you guys enjoy. Thank you guys again so much for 200,000 subscribers. I can't say it enough. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, and then hopefully we'll be making another quarter of a million subscriber q a soon which is 50 250 000 subscribers freaking crazy to think about that but uh we're already at like 210,000, so i'm 10,000 subscribers late to this one but anyway hope you uh hopefully you guys enjoyed hit that like button if you did hit that subscriber button down below if you guys are new to the channel and thank you thank you again i'll see you guys for another video tomorrow till next time choose later a day freaking black card Everybody.